Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about fractions and decimals. You're going to write each of the decimal and use repeating decimals when necessary. So, if I was given this fraction, 4 and 27 over 125. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore the 4, excuse me, right there, and I'm just going to deal with the fraction part, 27 over 125. So, we write that with long division, 125 goes into 27. Okay, well, 125 does not go into one or to into 27, so we add another zero there. Okay, and now we have 125 into 270. Well, that happens at least twice, right? Because two times 125 is 250, so we're getting as close as we can to 270, but not equal, right? So, or greater than it, really. So 270 minus 250 is 20. Okay, so we add another zero and we bring that down and now we have 200. So how many times or what times 125 gets me close to 200? And that's just one. Okay, we already know two was 250 and that's larger. We need to keep it 200 or below. One times 125 is 125. Okay, and then we subtract that and we get well, a 75. Okay, we add another zero. Okay, right there, zero. And we have 750. Okay, so what times 125 is 750? Okay, well, this is actually, so the answer is going to be 6 here. Okay, because 6 times uh, 100, right, the way I like, to, I like to break down, 6 times 100 is 600, and 6 times 25 is 150. So 600 plus 150 is 750. Okay. 750 and 750 is 0, and so here we have our answer as 0 0.216. All right, so quick recap. Oh, oh, I almost made a mistake right there. Got ahead of myself. 0 0.216 is the decimal part of 27 or 125, but we don't forget the 4. So the 4 is actually right out front, right? 4 and 216. <laughs> There's our answer. Be careful. That's actually. You can see how common it is. I almost just did it right there. All right, so be careful with that. All right, so quick recap. We're given 4 and 27 over 125, and we had to write that as a decimal, okay? So I dealt with the 27 over 125 and did long division, okay? I ended up getting 0 0.216. Well, the 0.216 is the decimal part. We combine that with the 4, the whole number part, and that gives us our final decimal answer of 4.216.